Boom! What's up internet? Josh Miles here and today I want to talk to you about telling your story, specifically answering the question, who am I? We're back on personal branding topics. Your 59 Second Friday is up next. Hey there friends, welcome back for another 59 Second Friday. We are back on the personal branding train. Today we're talking about the importance of telling your story, which reminds me of one of my favorite scenes from The Amazing Spider-Man. Let's roll the clip. Okay, so spoiler alert, the kid in high school here, Peter Parker, he's actually Spider-Man. I had a professor once who liked to tell his students that there were only 10 different plots in all of fiction. Well, I'm here to tell you he was wrong. There is only one. Who am I? Mr. Parker, tardy again. Well, at least we can always count on you. Sorry, Miss Ritter, won't happen again, I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep, Mr. Parker. Yeah, but those are the best kind. Okay, class, open your books. Let's begin on page one. Anybody else get the chills on that line? No, not the overly dramatic bit. I love it when the teacher says, there is only one plot in all of fiction. Who am I? You know, in Spider-Man lore, Peter Parker is struggling with his own sense of identity. Is he Spider-Man or is he Peter Parker? Is he supposed to let people know who he is? Is he always supposed to save the day? Should he let his friends and family know? He's having a serious identity crisis. Here he is, a student able to save the day, able to do just about anything, but the people who are closest to him are the ones who don't know what's going on. This wasn't an easy thing for Peter, but it's something many of us may struggle with when you try to mix the personal and professional brand. I know it's complicated, but I'm here to tell you, if there is nothing else that you figure out in the next 12 months, but you figure out how to tell your story about who you are and what is uniquely different about you, it will be the most valuable marketing effort that you make, whether it's for your personal or professional brand. Your story will become the centerpiece of your personal brand. So whether it's LinkedIn or on a website or on your Twitter bio, everything should follow a similar theme and they should all connect together. And once you have a personal brand story that is authentic, consistent, and memorable, that's something to get excited about. I hope that was helpful. In the comments, make sure and let me know if you figured out how to tell your personal brand story and also let me know what you think we should cover next time. I'm sorry, I know this is over 59 seconds, but sometimes it's good content and you just can't cut it off. So what are you gonna do? If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure and hit like and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, will you do me a favor? Share today's episode with someone who you think would find value in this content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope that was helpful. In the comments, make sure and let me know if you figured out how to best tell your personal brand story or where you're getting stuck. Also, let me know what you'd like for me to...